Welcome to Bike Sanuk, Kari and Johnny here in Chonburi province. Just after the rain, look at the sky. That's the blue sky and there's a little bit of rain over there. Uh, we're on the eastern seaboard. Over there is uh, all the islands over there. But let's talk about the bikes. So here we have two spanking new Royal Enfield Classic 350, 2022 edition. Let's do the walk around, talk around. We'll start with the chrome bronze. I call it brown, metallic maybe, beautiful. Beautiful, shining, shining, shining. Engine, by the way, it's the famous 350, which also powers the Meteor 350 Royal Enfield. 350 cc engine, single cylinder, 20 horsepower. Let's look at the, start in the front here, this beautiful curved mud guards. This is our old retro style. And here is the badge, Royal Enfield. And look at the peaked headlight. This is all retro, looking good. Beefy brakes by Bre, means by Brembo. It's a sub brand of the famous Brembo brakes, by Bre, by Brembo. Headlamp, no LED. Haljan with bulbs, but that's all retro. And bulbs are easier to change and maybe cheaper than LED. So the lights are fine. A lot of outstanding design features like these two tiger eyes on the left and right. Clutch. No, sorry, this is the brake. Clutch on this side. Nice and smooth. Not heavy at all. Yeah, let's look at the shifter here. These are rubberized, good grip. Uh, I actually like the Meteor shifter, which is the heel kicker, the toe and heel. This is only toe, but you get used to it. Five speed, easy to shift. The side view, triangular, there's a box inside here for tools. Uh, and then we got this design element. My wife said, it looks like a bicycle. She was referring to this. She said it looks like a bicycle, this part. Rear suspension is adjustable preload. And for the passenger, or as they say in India, pillion rider, passenger. Oh, nice upholstery. Nice and soft for the passenger rider and the uh, grab also. The grab handles, also good when you want to put the bike on the center stand. As you can see, there's also a center stand here. Center and side stand kickstand. And also retro looking side indicators, left and right and the red in the center. Brake light. ABS brakes, front and rear, 19 inch front, 18 inch here, rear. 18 inch, oh, pegs for the passenger. And like I said, my wife had a look at the bike yesterday and said, oh, it looks like a bicycle, this part. Funny. Tank, I forgot the tank. Another iconic design feature, retro style, teardrop tank. Contains 13 liter, will take you at least three, 400 kilometers because the fuel consumption, you get up to 30 kilometers per liter. You see the tank pads? I'd like them to be a little bit softer since I'm that kind of a rider doing a, like a hundred, I like to squeeze the tank, which is good for concentration, like a and then squeeze the tank. But I like the, the tank pads. Just a little bit softer would be great. Many of the modern bikes, they carry a lot of Plastic, plastic, fantastic. But the Royal Enfield Retro, Royal Enfield Classic 350, metal and more metal, very, very little plastic on this bike. Very little plastic, and that's why the, the weight of the bike, 
195 kg. No LBS, 195 kg. Yes. So let me swing my leg. Yeah. So good riding position. Now here I can feel the weight, especially if I tip it down like this. I feel the weight, 195 kg. And the, but you can see I'm flat foot, which is for a new rider with less confidence. It's important for them to be flat foot because if they go tip toe, they might they might even drop the bike, and that's no fun. I've done it. I know. So cockpit feel, wide handlebars, display, dashboard, easy to read, and the neutral in uppercase N, easy to find. However, there is no gear indicator, like Again, my Royal Enfield Meteor 350 has a gear indicator. I'm in first, second, third, fourth or fifth gear or N neutral here. Only N neutral and the rest you have to feel. It's like a gut feeling that you're in the second. You have to shift up third, fourth, fifth, shift down. So that's okay. Some of the older Royal Enfield models, there was no fuel gauge. So it was, uh, yeah, like... Do I need to top up now or am I going to get stranded? <laughs> no fuel. But here we do have a fuel gauge. And now comes the important question. How much? So here we have the entry level house in green, 139,000. And the top spec, 155,000. Difference less chrome. Still looking good. Up to you. And then there is also the signal, 149,000. I better stop now, here comes the rain. Here comes the rain, I'm getting wet. Over and out. Bike Sanuk. Johnny and Curry. Bike Sanuk team. This is motorcycle riding. Oh yeah. Away from the hustle and bustle of Bangkok. Busy intersections, the U-turns, the shopping malls. This is, look at this green countryside. And the Royal Enfield Classic 350. Matching this scenery perfectly. What a Sunday ride. I'm sitting just Perfect, perfect seating position, upright, not heavy lean forward sports style or cruiser style, just in between, which suits me fine for a shorter ride. Long distance, however, I prefer my Meteor 350. shelter from the storm. Dripping wet, since I'm a Royal Enfield fan, my private bike is the Meteor 350, 350cc Supernova, and uh, the uh, Royal Enfield Classic 350, same engine, but uh, there are major differences in styling, details, but overall, horsepower is the same, 20 horsepower, fuel consumption about the same. So what's the difference? The difference is that the Meteor 350 is a cruiser, easy pegs for cruising style. This is more like upright riding position. Fine for 
commuting for urban, suburban, riding, even some weekend escapes like, you know, here to Chonburi from, from Bangkok, it's fine. But longer rides, I prefer my, my thumper, my 350 Meteor because of the cruising style, the seating position, less fatigue on longer rides. For commuting, urban, week, day, weekend, getaways, the new 2022 Royal Enfield Classic 350 is absolutely the right bike, whether you're a beginner or a new rider or old rider like me, in spite of the weight, 190 kg is still easy, easy to do the lane splitting, the filtering in Bangkok traffic, U-turns and parking and all that. Yeah, absolutely. My recommendation, go for a test ride at Royal Enfield, any of the five dealers in Bangkok. Late afternoon in Chonburi. Time for the verdict. I'm impressed, first of all, the issue with the vibrations, because I did try the, not the classic 500, but the Bullet 500, which is also 500 engine. And uh, classic 500 vibrations was the issue, like the Bullet that I rode, also vibrations, shaking, shaking, shaking. And the fingers numb and oh, wow, wow. That was, that was, frightening experience in the Bangkok traffic. Now, with the new classic 350 in Bangkok traffic, lane splitting, filtering, heavy, heavy traffic last night as well. And now today in this green, beautiful Chonburi, including the rain, fine, easy, very easy to ride. Weight 190 kg might be a little bit heavy for a beginner, but once you're moving, it's so easy. Easy shifting, the clutch is light, and U-turns, easy, easy, easy riding, five speed. 20 horsepower, 27 neutral meter torque. Doesn't sound a lot, but trust me, yesterday I was doing 100 and almost 120. Fifth gear, oh wow, and today also, on the by roads and the highways and byways here in Chonburi, easy overtaking, really enjoyable ride, very enjoyable. And the seat is good. Yeah, I do like the seat better than my, my, my Meteor 350. The seat is good. So overall, well done Royal Enfield. R&D. You've got a great bike here and the price also. Ah, oh, yeah, this one. 155,000 for the top of the line. And the entry level here, a green one, 139,000 Thai baht. This is Johnny and Kari signing off from Chomburi province. Please like, share, and subscribe. See you again, ride safe.